Welcome back to another interesting episode of This Is Africa. I'm your host Andy Buchanan and this week we finally get to look for AJ's elephant. We'll be hunting a non-trophy elephant in the southeast of Zimbabwe in the wildlife reserve that is Nyonetsi, a fabulous, fabulous place. So folks, sit back, relax, enjoy yourselves because this week we are walking in the footsteps of giants. Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. Closed captioning is sponsored by Gracie Travel. 40 years of specializing in transporting you and your firearms to your destination. Just, just no, don't sell. You have to be on your best behavior. I'm going to try. It's going to be so difficult. Don't limit me, please. <laughs> please don't limit me. <laughs> we have a, a Browning 375. That has been slightly modified to be a 375 Ackley, which uh, gives you approximately 150 feet per second over the H and H round, and uh, it's a good rifle. What it, bullets are you shooting out of there? The, yeah. the Swift Breakaway. Ah, uh, okay. This is the Swift Solid, the Breakaway Solid. You can see the, the design of the projectile is such that it comes and it turns over on what we call the old dive, which is the front part of the bullet that rounds over to the very front. And it has a configuration that it has a cup, a little indentation in the front of the bullet. So what that does is it allows the bullet to travel on a straight course and even though it encounters heavy bone, which in hunting elephants, you'll most certainly encounter heavy bone, uh, the bullet does not deflect. If the bullet was rounded all the way, then upon striking a bone, it would possibly deflect off the side and change the trajectory of the bullet in the animal. But because of the way the bullet is designed, it actually continues on a straight path, even though it encounters bone, it goes straight through. We actually recovered one of the bullets from the elephant that I shot, and you can see that it worked perfectly. The impact was on the front of the bullet, and it's hardly deformed at all. You can tell that you had impact because if you compare the two, you can see that the bullet recovered is slightly deformed in the front from the one that you would chamber in the rifle unfired. And the reason for the little black polymer piece is so that the bullet will feed through the action properly. If, if you loaded this bullet in a case and try it, and it's actually in such good shape that you could reload this bullet, but if you tried to load it in your action, uh, this would possibly jam when you were closing the bolt on the rifle. So the configuration of the bullet is, uh, is unique and it, it works great. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Andy, on this particular hunt, uh, we were looking for a non-trophy elephant, which is uh, described as an old bull carrying a specific weight of ivory on, on uh, one side, as opposed to uh, a trophy bull with, uh, you know, bigger ivory. So we can see one bull, but he's got, he's a youngish bull with nice long ivory. So he's not quite what we're looking for, but there's a few bulls there. Just wanna wait out and get a look at all of them. As I told you, when we first started developing this trip, it was important for me to bring uh, my son and his wife along with me. 
But it was really important to have my wife here with me. She shared several African adventures with me. I think this is uh, her third or fourth trip. And I could share Africa with them. You just gotta look at them as they come past, but just be at the ready just in case. An elephant is an incredible animal, a magnificent animal. I mean, he's, he's the largest thing that we have walking on the face of the earth. Uh, he can pick up stuff as small as a tiny twig with his trunk, or he can pick up a log that weighs several hundred pounds and thrash it around. Uh, he breaks trees down. Just get ready, but don't shoot. No, just wait. Yeah, he's long and then he's a baby. No. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. The bullet, the least expensive, most important part of your hunt. It's the only contact you have with the animal. Swift bonded core technology provides great accuracy, controlled expansion, high weight retention, and deadly terminal performance. Swift A-frame, Scirocco, and the new breakaway solid. All bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact SwiftBullets.com for product availability. Africa is brought to you by River God Adventures. Slowly he's looking at us. Elephants can definitely be dangerous. Every year there's reports of deaths in Africa from elephants. Composure is important. Composure is the main, main thing you need to do, especially in any dangerous situation, but you need to make sure everyone in your group is calm. If everyone starts running, there's no way you can protect people and they'll likely become a target because they're running away. Hey! Hey! 
ไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปอันเด็กเรียนคุ้มกับเธอไม่ได้คุ้มกับเธอไม่รู้ว่าคุณคืออะไรเขาทำแบบเขาเปิดประตูให้เธอไปกินอาหารฉันเห็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขาจะเอาต้นไม้ของเธอไปกัดแล้วเขาเอาแบบเขาเป็นแมวเล็กๆก่อนที่เขา <laughs> But no, it was uh, unreal. It was honestly something that I never, ever in my life thought I'd get to witness a wild elephant that close. Well, ever since I was a young man, Andy, uh, I've been uh, hunting, fishing, trapping in Louisiana. I actually supported my family uh, commercial fishing and trapping. It's always been a big part of my life. Proper elephant, Dad. That elephant in the middle there is sort of the kind of bull we're looking for. Not not exactly what we want, but you. getting in that direct, heading in that direction. The one on the right is very young and thin. The one on the left has got good potential to be a big bull. They look a little grey. <laughs> an elephant is an incredible animal. He can pick up stuff as small as a tiny twig with his trunk. Or he can pick up a log that weighs several hundred pounds and thrash it around. I mean, he's he's the largest thing that we have walking on the face of the earth. They have very very good hearing. Uh, their big ears provide them with ventilation and cooling, and they flap their ears when they're hot. The blood vessels that flow through the skin on their ears provides them, it's like a big radiator, provides them with cooling, and their skin is unbelievably tough because some of the stuff they walk through, we bleed quite readily, but yet the elephant passes through and he doesn't get a scratch. Uh, just a really, really cool animal. This is Africa is brought to you by African Sporting Creations. Safari Club Foundation. Our mission to preserve the sport of hunting through education, conservation, and the promotion of our hunting heritage. Each year we provide outdoor experiences and education for hundreds of high school students. We proudly awarded $2.4 million in scholarships and funded over $4 million in grants. We exist to serve the hunting and conservation community. We are the Houston Safari Club Foundation. Learn more and join today at wehuntwegive.org. Umoya we Africa.
This is Africa is brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. He's a big bodied old bull. Pretty heavy tusks. But yeah, they're a bit too big for us. There used to be a few nomadic bulls um, coming through here prior to 2012, but it was a very almost insignificant population. So once the conservancy or the, the wildlife area was formed, um, we introduced 39 cows and calves, a herd structure of elephant. And with that, it's, it's just drawn in an incredible number of bulls from the outside. So, and that number just keeps on growing and growing and growing. This is my Mauser 375, the flag safety. I've shot everything from monkeys to elephants with it. <laughs> and it's done me well so far. A lot of the national parks not far from us are actually overpopulated with elephant. So the first to go are the young bulls. Once there was an established breeding group, it seems to have made them very comfortable and uh, they realize that this is now a safe haven for them and they just keep coming in. The problem with it is we can only sustain a certain number of elephant. Elephant are you know, very large animals. If their numbers are wrong, they can do some serious damage to the environment. And we finally found our bull, but he's, uh, he's quite heavy, so he's not the one we're looking for. But it's nice to spend time with some elephant again. What do you think, Mr. AJ? I'm shooting. <laughs> yeah, on UNETSI, we do try and be as ethical as possible. Fair chase, don't shoot at water. Uh, obviously, very, very strict quotas. Um, we, we put a lot of effort into finding out our numbers and, and being accurate with our numbers and then from there doing a sustainable offtake. We can't shoot that water here, so we're just going to go up there and have a look and if there's one we want, we wait for them to move off and we'll follow them out. Well, for one, it's what should be done anyway. Everyone should be, anyone that's a hunter should be ethical, especially when you've got pumped water. Animals are very dependent on water and they have to go to the same place every time for water. I haven't seen the big bodied one's tusks yet, so I want to have a look at him. See this one on the far right now, going through the trees. That's the monster in front there. Yeah, but he's got the super long tusk. So the one behind that one is the same body size, but his tusks are much less impressive. So that's sort of the one we're looking for. This one here. See, he's a big bodied bull. He's as big as that bull with the longer tusk. He's got sunken temples, big head, but he doesn't have the genetic potential. His ivory is just pretty short, stumpy, thick, but not very long. So, I think it's a good one to take out of the chin. This is Africa, is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. Safari Club is for anyone who likes to hunt. It's for the love of the outdoors. It's to give all of us as individuals a voice. Ever wanted to hunt whatever, wherever in the world, somebody in the club has done it and can point you in the right direction. We have met 
some of our very close friends through Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. Join the Houston Safari Club Foundation to increase your knowledge of the hunting world. This is Africa is brought to you by Pulsar. With our herd still being quite young and even a lot of the bulls breaking in are young, um, we, we really have got some exceptional bulls coming through. And, but we would like to leave them alone because they are still young bulls. And, but we do at the same time need to manage that bull population. Um, we're going to go back to where we left those bulls earlier. The wind's a lot better now. It's cooled down a bit so we can have a see where they went. They've moved off to pick up their track. You think this elephant is good size for us? I, <laughs> I think we'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I think he's a bit big. Maybe if we halved him. Anything out your bag? Mm -mm. Africa has a certain mystique to it for the right kind of person. Africa is the answer to a dream. Resting under that tree up here. I haven't seen ivory yet. Let's go over this way and see if we can see his head. And to have an opportunity to actually come here and, and walk in the sands and walk in the footsteps of uh, lots of folks who went on the first safaris uh, is, is just a really cool thing. Okay, that's the long one. It's a toss-up for me between buffalo and elephant, but uh, I like to hunt the big stuff. Uh, I like to hunt stuff that bites or will stomp you. So uh, it's just in my nature that that's what I like to do. Hey, hey! Hey! This is a fantastic place. I've seen more elephants in one day here than I have, I think, in any other place I've been. And I've been numerous other countries in Africa. It was pretty incredible. Uh, I've never been on an elephant hunt before, but this was pretty exciting. It had definitely make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. I said it's an experience I can't even describe or explain. And it, so it's a long process, but then when he comes out and gives you an opportunity, it's seconds that you have to make that decision. My heart is racing. I think it's terrific when you can share these kind of experiences with your children and with your wife. It's a good deal. This is a dream. We're talking about the friends and relatives that we want to bring with us. I have heard so many people, my, my relatives who've been to Africa, talk about that African bug. Like, you're just, once you go, that's it. And I didn't fully understand it. And the first moment that I got over here, even in the city, I was intrigued by just the culture and the life. You come to a place like this, where you see people who really appreciate small things and they are around this beautiful just scenery every day if I could live here I could, if it were for my kids at home I could stay here forever I get it it's beautiful this is like just a little slice of heaven uh, I would absolutely book with Andy Andy's awesome he's smart he knows his stuff he knows the place that he's from and he takes pride and joy from where he comes from and you can see it just the way that he explains animals and um, foods and his knowledge of Africa and the hunting is by far probably the best that you could get. This is definitely not the last time my feet will step on African soil. 
What a phenomenal family experience. I enjoyed every second of hunting with this awesome family from Louisiana in this remarkable place that is the success story, the New Annette Game Reserve. Spike and all your team down here in New Annette we all salute you, keep up the good work. Folks, we'll see you next week right here on This Is Africa. Next time on This Is Africa, Andy and his hunters struggle to keep quiet in a leopard blind when a fierce African wasp harasses them. Will their leopard luck change as the spotted predator outsmarts the hunters? 